have a couple of lava lamps in my classroom, and they tend to act differently from each other. So I shot one picture for every 30 seconds for a period of time, and the lava lamps seem to behave differently from each other. The one on the right seems to be more active than the one on the left. Here are the two lamps again. This time I videotaped them and then I'm playing them back at two times the playback rate. So you can see still the one on the right is still more active than the one on the left. So what factors cause the differences in the fluid activities of the lamp? Let's take a closer look at both lamps to see how it kind of works. So at the bottom of the lamps underneath the glass is a light bulb. And you can see in this one it's a 25, 25 watt light bulb. That corresponds generally to how much energy it's using. So it kind of corresponds to how much heat. That light bulb generates a lot of heat energy. And that heat energy heats up part of the material in the lava lamp and it that solid material liquefies because of the heat and that material expands and becomes less dense and it rises. Let's see the light bulb in the bigger lamp. Does it have the same wattage, 25 watt, as the first one? Okay, so we look up close at this and we can see it's not the same light bulb it has a 40 watt light bulb. So there's more heat energy being produced by this light bulb than the other one. Okay, so this one has a hotter light bulb, but still the lamp doesn't seem to be as active as the first one. Well, could it be just due to some other factor? Well, let's take a look at, there's a heating element. There's a wire spiral metal element that heats up by the light bulb, and in turn that's gonna heat up the uh, material in the lava lamp. You can see how big that one is. So it's, it's that big across. It might be, a, you know, maybe a couple inches. And let's see, well, does it have the same heating element size in the big one? And we can see in this one, if we take a look at it up close, and it does seem to have a bigger one. Um, it has a higher diameter than the first one. So is that affecting, cause, partly causing the slowness of this lava lamp? Maybe. So we looked at the wattage of the light bulb, they're different. The size of the heating element, they're different. Um, one of the other factors that might play a role in this is the mass, the amount of material in each of them. The one on the left has a greater mass of material than the one on the right. So maybe it that mass requires more heat energy to become just as active as the one on the right. So maybe the heat generated by the light bulb and the heating element is just not enough heat energy to make that red liquid be as active as the yellow liquid in the right one. So maybe that's what's causing the it, that that lava lamp is just not very active at all. It's almost I wouldn't say broken, but it just doesn't seem to be acting like you would think a normal lava lamp would would be.